says the writer's almanac for Monday, the 12th of April, 2021. 1861, on this date, the Civil War began when Confederate troops fired on Fort Sumter in Charleston Harbor in South Carolina. 4.30 in the morning, beginning a war that would ultimately cost 620,000 American lives. The Confederates held Fort Sumter for four years and then abandoned it when William Sherman, General Sherman, captured Charleston in 1865. It was on this day, 1633, that Galileo Galilei was put on trial by the Inquisition for supporting the theory that the earth revolves around the sun. Gustave Flaubert's first novel, Madame Bovary, was published on this day in 1857, became a great sensation, a novel about a woman who has multiple affairs to stave off the boredom of her life. Franklin Delano Roosevelt died on this day in 1945 of a cerebral hemorrhage at his home in Warm Springs, Georgia. And that evening, Eleanor Roosevelt called Vice President Harry Truman to the White House to tell him that he was now president. He asked her, is there anything I can do for you? And she said, is there anything we can do for you? You are the one in trouble now. It's the birthday of Beverly Cleary, born in McMinnville, Oregon, 1916, became a children's librarian in Washington State, and she noticed that many of the children who came to the library complained that they couldn't find books about children like themselves, and so she set out to write a whole series of books about a girl named Ramona Quimby, Ramona Quimby who draws pictures in library books and who locks her friend's dog in the bathroom and wipes paint on the neighbor's cat. It's the birthday of the poet Gary Soto, born in Fresno, California, 1952, worked as a farm laborer, then in factories, Gary Soto, who wrote, They say you have a tattoo of a butterfly on your thigh, but how will I know that you can uncurl cigarette smoke at will, that you can cuss in six languages, that your last boyfriend is using a whole box of Kleenex to wipe away his river of tears? Here's a poem for today by Wesley McNair, entitled Happiness. Why? Dot asks, stuck in the back seat of her sister's two-door, her freckled hand feeling the roof for the right spot to pull her wide self up onto her left, the unarthritic ankle. Why does her sister, coaching outside on her cane, have to make her laugh so she flops back just as she was, though now looking wistfully out through the restaurant reflected in her back window, she seems bigger and couldn't possibly mean we should go ahead in without her. She'll be all right. And so when you finally place the pillow behind her back and lift her right out, into the sunshine. All four of us are happy, none more than she, who straightens the blossoms on her blouse, says how nice it is to get out once in a while, and then goes in to eat with the greatest delicacy, oh, I could never finish all that, and a plum, the complete roast beef dinner with apple crisp and ice cream, just a small scoop. A poem by Wesley McNair, Happiness, from The Town of No and My Brother Running, published by David R. Godin, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.